All right, it's a nice morning today. Just getting to the shop. We got a uh, pretty good project today. My dad's coming down. We are gonna put in this stuff. An airbag set and a gooseneck hitch. He's getting ready to sell his bumper pole trailer and get a fifth wheel trailer. And so we're gonna help him put that in today. Should be able to get it done today, but I guess it depends on how much we can get done before we gotta go to softball games, so here we go. All right, so we're just unpacking this, trying to get an idea of where to get started. Okay, so we've got our airbags all assembled. We got them sitting up in here. And we're just trying to figure out what our application is. We're also gonna install a gooseneck hitch. So there's one installation for that and one installation for without a gooseneck hitch. And we're afraid if we don't assemble it that way, then it's gonna screw us in the long run. So we're just gonna do it the hard way. We gotta drill some holes on the top end and then it just mounts to fac factory bolt holes on the bottom. So that's what we're working on. Okay, so you want, we want to show you where we are on the installation. So we installed the airbags and we bolted them to the frame and we used U-bolts um, at the bottom. So and now we're moving on to the installing the air compressor battery because it's got an inline fuse in it. Oh. Okay, so we're trying to figure out where to put it. I think we found our spot. Right here's a nice bare spot where I think it'll fit on the frame to the outside of the frame. So we're going to go ahead and mount it right there. Okay, we're up under the truck here. We just got a 3 8 hole drilled right here. We gotta mount this filter. This is where the air comes in, so we're gonna mount it right here. Okay, so that'll just mount right there. Now we've gotta run our tubing back to the compressor. Okay, so we're just getting our tubing ran here. You can see got it coming out of our compressor and then up on the frame and we already got the one ran over to the driver's side and now we're working on the passenger side okay so now we're working on our wiring got our wire har wire harness pulled and plugged in now we're working on getting zip ties tightened down our wiring tightened up 
so that's where we're at. We're just trying to get the wire zip tied up nice under the hood so that we can hook it up. And keep it away from heat. Keep it away from the heat. Okay, so we're trying to find an ignition circuit so that we can wire this in. I think we found one. So I'll turn the key off. Okay, so that's one right there. So now we just got to go get a one of those little fuse circuits that plug in there and we should be golden. Okay. Okay, so we've got our add a circuit here. And what you do is you just find a circuit in here that applies to what you need. So we need a switched 12 volt circuit. So we found one right here. So you pull that fuse out and then you pop that's a 20 amp circuit, so we popped our 20 amp fuse in there, and then our new circuit needs a 3 amp fuse, so we pop that in there, and then you install this in here, and then we're going to route this wire out of the box right there, and hook it up, and that'll give us our 12 volt switched wire. Okay, so now we're doing our 12 volt hot wire and ground. We're just going to connect them right here on to the battery. This is where our hot wire is going to go. And then the ground goes, obviously, on the other side. Crimpers? <clears throat> Socket. So when you do this, you want to make sure you touch the tr frame of the truck. <laughs> Send sparks everywhere. And blow like three fuses. Just kidding. Why don't we go... You like that? Cover, put it back on, touch that for good luck. Okay, we're good there. Pancakes. Okay, so we got our connections made down here on the compressor. We're just getting our Heat shrink, butt splice connectors shrunk up. And then we're going to get these wires tied up neat out of the way and then we're going to give it a test. Oh, we still got to hook up our tubing to the airbags. But once we do that, we should be good. Okay, so we've got our install complete. We're just going to test it out. It's pretty neat. They give you this printout that has a QR code so that you can just scan it with your phone and pull up the app and it runs off of an app on your phone. Um, so he's doing that right now. It says the smartphone's not included, so that's a bummer, but we won't hold that against him. All right, so he's got the app pulled up, so come look at the app. Okay, so there's the app. Now he's gonna go ahead and try it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's running. He's got it set to 30, or 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 30. Okay, compressor just shut off, so if you walk back here. You see we got our air bags right there. And they're nice and full. You 
can tell it's lifted the bed up. And then if you stand back and go to zero or go to five, the manual says you're not supposed to go less than five psi, so you don't damage the bags when you're driving around. All right. Well, that'll wrap up the airbag install. We still have to do the gooseneck hitch. We're gonna try to knock that out maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, so stay tuned. Okay, we got our truck back up in the air. It's the next day. We're gonna try and knock out the gooseneck hitch today. So we got our truck all lifted up. Uh, we got our spare tire pulled out. We're just working on getting the heat shield tore out there's I think two bolts for that once we get the heat shield pulled out then we start pulling our measurements to get ready to drill the hole in the bed so we'll go from there They're not done yet. okay so we got our measurements pulled off the end we just went what the book told us to go for a long bed. We found the center between the two wheel wells. We got our center hole drilled and we're just getting ready to cut the big hole. So here goes nothing. cover popped up out of the way got to cut like a 45 two inches wide right here so that we can slide our first brace up in there
handle put in. We got the crane pulled out of our pin, so there's no pressure on that anymore. All the bolts have been torqued. We're just putting our handle in and then drop the wheel well skirting, put the spare tire back in, put the hitch pin in, or the, the actual hitch ball in, and then we're done. Almost done, except for the chain ties. Oh, we do, we still have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, start over. Okay, so here's where we're at. So the hitch is in. Got a ball in. We've got our U bolts here for hooking our safety chains to. All the bolts are torqued. We've just got to get our wheel well skirts popped down, which they are. And I think now we're ready to lower it and test it out. It's probably going to wrap this one up. See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>